fly by wire means electrical connections between commands that's the input on a side stick and the system that operates it here we're talking about flight controls and the hydraulic system and the hydraulic actuator there is no mechanical link between the input and the output everything is electronic it produces an array of benefits for the aircraft in total but the main two that Airbus would like to highlight is that increased reliability as well as the huge weight reduction that is found when using wires rather than mechanical controls from flight controls to operational controls in the cockpit, especially when we're talking a large aircraft. To understand very basically how the fly-by-wire works, we need to first introduce something called control laws. By definition, a control law is the relationship between the input and the output. The input being from the side stick, in this case, in the Airbus aircraft, and the output being the control surface that actually moves behind us. The control law, the relationship between them, is not direct. In a conventional aircraft, and that's why it's called conventional, such as the Airbus 300, we have a direct relationship, meaning half deflection on the input is half deflection on the control surface. Full deflection is full deflection. The relationship is direct. The control law is direct. But in a fly-by-wire system, it isn't direct like that. We call it normal control law in normal conditions. And here, when you make an input on a flight control, the flight control surface right there is deflected, but that deflection is not decided by your input. It is decided by computers based on parameters from all over the aircraft. Over here, I have the inputs, which can either come from the side sticks or from the autopilot. They give commands, electrical inputs, into one of seven flight control computers. When you operate your side stick, the operation, the movement of the side stick, the amount of deflection and the rate of deflection is translated inside the side stick control box using transducers to an electrical signal, which is proportional to what you commanded. That signal travels to the flight control computers. And depending on which flight control surface they're trying to move, that flight control computer will send a signal to operate hydraulic control valves on that system so hydraulic actuators can move the control surface. But that's just a hydraulic system operating with inputs from flight controls. That's not fly-by-wire. Fly-by-wire happens when the aircraft feeds information back to the flight control computer to adjust the deflection of said control surface. So first of all, the movement of the actuator, hence the actual movement of the control surface, is fed back into the flight control computer, as well as from other systems, such as the air data and inertial reference system, what the aircraft is physically doing goes back into the flight control computer. It will then determine how much deflection is required to obtain the maneuver that you asked for. 